Hi there, this is Tara from Boys and Girls Club of Western Pennsylvania. Today, manager of arts programs. Today I'm going to do the culinary, a culinary lesson. Super quick, super easy on how to make the um, best, tastiest California type avocado egg sandwich, open face. So the very first thing we're going to do is we have, I picked up some artesian bread from the local Giant Eagle. My favorite bread in the world is rosemary. So this is rosemary bread. So I have my bread knife. It's a serrated edge, okay? This is also has an end point. So some people use this for meat, cutting, slicing ham and turkey, and they can use this to pick up the meat. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the heel of the bread off. But I always leave that in the bag for good luck. We're gonna take this, a couple slices, and just cut that and throw it immediately into the toaster oven. Right here, and the toaster oven. So we wanna get it, just get it toasted up. We don't wanna get it too brown. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this quick little egg sandwich it's because it's springtime, Easter just passed, so I thought it would be a nice little refreshing treat to show you. And I give credit to the YouTube Emmy made because this is the best of video that I watched to learn about this. Okay, now that's toasting. While that's toasting, let's prepare our egg and our avocado. Here's the egg, this has been hard boiled perfect hard boiling technique um, by my, my my partner, my husband, and he's told me how to do that. Uh, he's also my filmmaker. Um, so what do you say, boil for 11 minutes, rolling boil? You take the eggs, you put them in cold water, submerge them uh, at least an inch, mm -hmm. put the on the stove, put the pot on the stove, mm -hmm. get to a rolling boil. Once it comes to a rolling boil, take it off the heat, cover, for 11 minutes, varies by altitude, but mm -hmm. 10 to 12 minutes. Ours was exactly 11 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then you run cold water through the hot water until you gradually cool it off so that the yes. shells don't crack. And then you let it sit in cold water for at least five minutes. Great. So this egg is a perfect foolproof method. It has been sitting chilled in the refrigerator. It's fine. I just hit it on the flat surface to crumple it up a little bit. On, the, on And then I'm gonna take and use the newly discovered spoon method. So you <laughs> peel this egg a little bit with your fingertips. Let's see if it still works for an egg that's just been in the refrigerator for a while. You get underneath the membrane of the egg, of the egg shell, and then you just work your spoon through it. Just like that. Use the curve of the spoon to just kind of lift it away from the egg. Perfecto. Nice. So that is super nice, beautiful wow. technique. Yeah, I, I never knew to do that. I was always the one that running underwater, use my fingers, get a little messed up. So here's the new next new technique about doing an egg. You could dice it. That we have gizmos that dice eggs. You could slice it or chop it. But what I'm going to do is actually grate it. So you take your hard boiled egg and you just grate it. Right, it's real soft and beautiful right on the grater. Oh, that works out really nice. And I'll show you the result in just a second. It's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now, if you don't like that, um, we can use our, uh, our trusty egg slicer later. But I think this is gonna be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and grate it some more. This is kind of like a nice, loose way to Good. So we'll leave that little part there and I'll chop it up a bit. There we go. And here's the beautiful result. Get all the parts out. Okay. Let me use my spoon here. Look at that. Just beautiful. Now I'll pick this up so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Now we, oops, our bread is nice and toasted, so we want to pull that out. Ouch, hey mama. Okay, I did overdo that a little bit, but that's okay. It'll be fine. 
Patrick, would you mind grabbing me a dish, a plate? Just a little plate. Any plate. That'll hold the toast. Okay. Now, thank you. Perfect. Now we're gonna take care of our avocado. Hold a nice knife firmly, okay? Go around and wash the avocado. I washed this. I'm gonna take the sticker off. Because the reason I say wash your fruits and vegetables is because you're gonna be putting your knife through the skin. And you don't know where this vegetable has been. So you wanna be putting your knife, you're gonna be putting your knife through the skin and you're gonna be pushing anything that is on the surface of the skin into the meat of the fruit or vegetable. So you wanna take and wash it. Give it a little rinse, no big deal. Okay, put our toast on there. I put it around horizontally, and then I'm just gonna twist it, boom, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same knife and very carefully, watch your fingertips, give it a little chop right into it, and a twist. Oh, this was not gonna work, and a twist. There you go, boom. So that's a, that's a tricky thing, okay? So you can take this avocado and carve it, wash it and carve it. I might do that later, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure, okay? I might also save the skins and dry them. I do have two avocados in the refrigerator pits to carve already. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my spoon, the all-purpose spoon for everything today, and I'm just going to go around the edge of the avocado like so pop it out and boom. So we have some other avocados, but they're a little hard. And sometimes I like a hard avocado too. Avocado, um, there we go. And I always get all the stuff out of the avocado because it's all good superfood nutrition. It's lovely to eat. Okay, so we're gonna put that to the side out. All right, here we go. Now, I'm going to take this avocado and flip it over on my board. We're just going to give it a little slice at, on a bias. We want it to look really, it's all about presentation. We're not mashing this. This is all about texture in your mouth. That chunk of an avocado tastes so good um, that a mat better than a mashed avocado in my in my personal opinion. So that is ready to roll. But then I'm going to take a green scallion, give that a little chop. Believe it or not, folks, we are almost done. And it's all about assemblage. So I'm just going to cut a little bit of the green. Maybe a little bit of the white too. Just some beautiful little ringlets of scallion right here. I also almost got chives because that would work too. Uh, but I thought it'd be fun to look at this scallion. And then if you buy a scallion, it's always in a bundle. So you always have a little extra for your ramen or for your soup. Okay, so here we go. We, got our, we have our beautiful toast here. Actually, why don't I just do the other one too, just so it's done. And we can uh, do both of them, both toasts. Won't take me but a minute. There we go. Now, in um, the video that I enjoyed, they had, they used, you'll see what we use for a spread underneath, but they had Vegemite, which is something that I'm really interested in. I could not find that today, so we'll be looking for that shortly, because that'll be a part of our, our recipes. Here we go. We take our toast. We're gonna use a regular real mayonnaise, okay? So this is like a Hellman, Hellman's type of mayonnaise, but I, I purchased it at Aldi's, very easy. We're gonna have a base, because a real mayonnaise is not super salty, like your Miracle Whip, and it's not also super sweet. It's like really right in the middle. It's also made from eggs instead it's of made, oil. Yes, right? it's made from eggs instead of oil. You can also do a Berman, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, what is it? Uh, Kewpie, Kewpie uh, Japanese mayo is really more eggy. 
Duke's mayo is the same way. There we go. We've got that beautiful mayo on there. Lovely. And then we're going to take our other flavors. So we don't have the Vegemite. So we're just going to put a little teeny bit of Sriracha on one side. Okay. We're going to leave the middle plain. And then we're going to put a little squeeze of wasabi. And this is actually, you know, this isn't real Japanese wasabi, but it's like a commercial wasabi, which is sort of made with horseradish and colored green. This is something I learned recently. So I'm just going to mix a little horseradish wasabi right onto real wasabi is made with the wasabi. Japanese horseradish. Okay. It was ground on a stone. All right, so we have the little three tier there. Beautiful. Now we're going to take our slices of avocado and just lay them right on here in a beautiful way. Nice. Just lay them out however you like but just make it look pretty this food is always much more tasty if it looks really pretty okay good and then you're going to take your ground up egg all right ground up egg right here on my messy plate please excuse my messy plate and you're just gonna put that right on the top Beautiful. However much egg you like. Now, there are egg and avocado combo salads that are really nice. People mix them in cube form, both avocado and egg. And lightly mix it so it's not too broken down. And sometimes they'll add like a bit of crunchy lettuce or something. Um, or I've actually seen people do like some slivers of almond in there. Now we're going to take a little bit of spring onion or scallion right on top there. A little couple greens for color. Beautiful. I know it looks like a heaping mess, but it's all going to be good. And now I've seen people also take seasoning now and put seasoning on this. I don't want to put seasoning on this. I want to just enjoy the natural taste of, of the um, bread, the rosemary bread, the hard boiled egg, the avocado, and the onion, and the sauces. That's a lot of flavors in that little bite. Okay, now we're going to do a taste test. Patrick, would you like to taste test this? Mm-hmm, I would. Okay, I just suggest you take this one, so this one's a little bit more burnt. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. You crunch that for a minute, then you give me your, your, your feelings. Mm-hmm, I love it. I love the crunchiness of the toast, and then the, whoa! It's got that wasabi. The duck Yeah, nice. so it starts out like, you can smell the, the mm -hmm. onion flavor, the onion smell, and it's like real earthy. Mm -hmm. And then you crunch, and then it's creamy because you got this uh -huh. and the egg and the avocado. And then boom, man, there's an explosion of flavor. Mm. Let me just taste wow. this too. Well, that thank, wasabi you folks. Something else. thank you folks for joining us for this little food demo demonstration. Um, and next time, yes, you can come in here. Yes, next time we'll have something even better. <laughs> Cultural cooking um, classes or sessions, video sessions, virtual sessions will start in May on Friday evenings. So look out for those and we're going to be doing all sorts of cultural cooking from around the world. Okay, thank you.